Hello everyone, I'm going to do another film review for something you've probably never heard of. Yes, I know I am starting to make a bit of a habit of doing that on this channel, but never mind. So I was on Instagram the other day looking through all the YouTubers that I'm subscribed to and one of them, called Emma, put on her story, does anyone know what this film is like? And it was called The Villainess and I was thinking, that's a film I've never heard of, I'll watch it and review it on this channel. So I did. It's in Korean, so unless you can speak Korean, you will need subtitles. So during the film, you're following the main character called Suki. I'm not sure if she's played by two different actresses. I'll get to that in a moment. I'm looking at the IMDb, and it's appearing to show just one actress, but I'm pretty sure they used two, because during the film, she has plastic surgery, um, which is actually quite handy, because they do a lot of flashbacks. And she looks completely different before and after the surgery, so maybe it is the same person. I can't read the credits at the end of the film because they're all in Korean. I'm looking at the IMD website and it's just shown one actress unless I'm not looking properly. I'm sure there'll be people correct me if I'm wrong. So basically, um, the film starts out, it's full on the violence. It's actually quite clever camera work in this room. All the way through the camera work is quite clever with like really long continuous shots. It's obvious that they are edited together because there's no way they'll be able to get these shots without um, cutting and editing. But it's done in such a way that it looks like it's one continuous shot, so it's quite clever. And straight in from the very opening scene, it's just full on. You're on first person view, it's cut slash, kill, shoot, 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 bang, blood, gore, death, violence. It's just straight in, right from the opening scene. So you kind of get a sense of what the film is going to be like. And then it's pretty hardcore for quite a long way in. And she's part of one organisation, but um, she gets uh, recruited into another organisation um, to use her expert assassination skills and stuff like that. And it's like, full on, full on, full on, full on, full on. And then you get to like, uh, roughly about 40 minutes in. And then bam, it comes to a grinding halt. It's almost like a completely different film at this point. And um, it's not just like the film slows down. Because not all films can be full on all the time. That's impossible. But this comes to such a grinding halt. It goes from full on, kill, 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 action, action, action. To just like domestic life um i mean it's all a setup if you watch you understand that it's it's all a, a setup and everything and things aren't as they first seem on the surface but you're already aware of that anyway but the change in tempo is so dramatic you're like whoa is this a different film it is almost like it's got different it, i i mean I, I don't think it has but it feels like it's got a different script writer or a different director it's just completely different and then it kind of the tempo kind of builds up again gradually but not very fast and then a bit more death violence plot twists and stuff like this who you think are the good guys and who you think are the bad guys aren't necessarily the good guys or the bad guys but to be honest no one's really a good guy in this and yeah um i did enjoy it but you really have to pay attention there's a lot of flashbacks um so the fact that she has plastic surgery when she joins the second agency makes it really handy because her face is so different. There's flashbacks to when she's a child and then there's a flashback to uh, just before the film starts and it's constantly flashing backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. If you're not paying attention, you might get a little bit lost, but the fact that her face is so different in this makes it a little bit easier to actually pay attention to what's going on. I found it but it's still fairly easy to follow, even though I was having to read subtitles, but I'm getting used to reading subtitles doing film reviews on this channel now, so um, that wasn't really an issue. I enjoyed it. If you don't like extreme violence, you won't like this film. But if you don't mind it, then um, yeah, I recommend it. Um, it. Obviously, it's on subtitles. It's uh, it's not the best film in the world, but you know, it's it's a good enough film. It's okay. It's 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 watchable. Um, it's entertaining. Um, so yeah, I, I, I quite enjoyed it, but as I said, if you don't like extreme violence, you're not going to like this. If you like your rom-coms and stuff like that, this is definitely not for you. But other than that, I found it quite an enjoyable film. Um, as I said, I found the camera work quite impressive. Even if you don't like the film, you've got to acknowledge the impressive camera work and the way it moves in and out of all the scenes. Not just the beginning, there's bits later on. 
where it just seamlessly flows from one thing to another to another and the way that they've clipped it all together makes it look like one continuous shot. So I'm impressed by that. Um, so yeah, um, go check it out if you can find it. So yeah. Uh, I've got loads of other film reviews on here, one or two of the films you might have even heard of. Um, I'm going to uh, eventually do some more films that you might have heard of. I'm, I'm always going to be doing obscure films that no one's ever heard of, um, because that just seems to be the thing I do. Loads of other things, challenges, vlogs, karate, you, whatever I feel like. Okay, thumbs up if you enjoyed this. If you didn't enjoy it, then don't give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you like this. Don't subscribe if you didn't like it. If you want to get notifications after you've subscribed, click the bell icon. If you don't want notifications, then don't click the bell icon. And I'll see you later. Bye.